Hey, back again with another Intellivision gameplay video. Gonna do kind of one of my favorites, as in, <laughs> it started out as a favorite and then I got bored to death of it. This is one of the first games that I'd gotten with my Radio Shack Tandy Vision when I was a kid. This one's called Space Battle. And this one I do have the overlays. I'm gonna try and find a site now that I'm thinking of the overlays. I'd found one where they had it to where you can print them out and just save it file by file for all the different games for anybody that doesn't have these because some of them you really do need the overlays just to figure out how to start the game let alone play it so let's put it going here and this one once you get the hang of it it's pretty fast on beating it unless you're on really hard skill which uh, power to you i'd say anybody that can beat this game on the hardest skill man have a Snickers, you fucking earned it. <laughs> and it's really, really friggin' hard. So, don't know if I'm right on this because I don't have the book, but I think uh, button one, which would be your blue symbol there on top of your controller, is easy, I think. Anyways, I can beat it on this. Basically, to start out, if you don't have an overlay, just hit the button one through three. That'll bring up your guys. And don't know if you guys can see here, but uh, red ones on your little bad guy squadrons, that means it hasn't been selected for anybody to go after it. So right now I've selected white to go after that one. It's really close. Then yellow for that guy. And then blue for over here. Then not the very bottom buttons. But the ones above it, those are the ones where you send them out into space to attack the bad guys. And on the skill level, these guys are speed up on this scene. It's mainly that first screen where you see them heading towards the center, which would be your base. They just head to it that much faster to where you really got to be quick and dead on with your shots. And hard to do it because they seem to move as soon as you get the cursors on them. Try and get them in groups. Or not. Oh shit. <laughs> well, suckers quick. Group. If I'm acting like a friggin' idiot. Okay. <laughs> Got that one dude that's about to kick my ass, man, so you wanna try and get the ones that are closest to the center. As you can hear there, the alarms are already going that I'm about to die. basically yellow because they're riding the short bus. They seem to be sitting there along my space station to be blown up. Stupid. Oh, holy crap. They moved about millimeter there. Jesus Christ. Man. Oh, 
shit. That's one of your rewards for beating the game. You get to go deaf if you have the TV cranked up really loud. Otherwise, if you die because uh, they forgot that uh, red is really bad for kids that are prone to seizures, you get this nice flashing red screen and a loud noise. So, if you basically, if your squadron loses, you lose. Seems to be the thing with a lot of these, man. When you die, they always had a red screen flashing at you. That's why they started doing the uh, seizure warning on all the games. Because I think there was a lot of kids going into epileptic fits playing video games. That is gaming power. So, that's the end of that one. That's pretty much all there is to it there. And, uh, I don't have my IntelliVoice hooked up, but, uh... Yeah, Space Spartans. If you guys are lucky enough to have an IntelliVoice, Space Spartans is worth picking up if you like this style of game or whatever. Very similar on the shooting part, just more to it when it comes to your squadrons and stuff. You don't just have the center of the screen as your base, you got different bases that you got to protect. And this one. I recommend going to Atari2600.com. All these first ones that came out like this and many others, man, you can get them shit. If you go into his Naked Ladies and Wounded Warrior section, which is basically his bargain bin, just try and find ones where it's the label missing or whatever. Make sure it doesn't say cracked. You can get these for like a buck. Really easy to find. So, on to the next vid.